ever wondered how different generations respond to marketing strategies? As we navigate through the complex world of consumer trends, we encounter a fascinating puzzle, the generational marketing puzzle. This concept may sound a bit complex, but it's really all about understanding the unique characteristics, preferences, and values that shape each generation's buying behavior. Think of it like this. Each generation has its own unique language, culture, and worldview, shaped by the historical, social, and technological events of their time. And just like you wouldn't use the same approach to communicate with someone from a different culture, you wouldn't use the same marketing tactics to appeal to consumers from different generations. Imagine trying to sell a trendy tech gadget to a baby boomer using the same lingo and platforms you'd use for a tech-savvy Gen Z consumer. You'd be speaking a foreign language to them and probably wouldn't make that sale. That's where the power of generational marketing comes into play. Generational marketing is the practice of tailoring your marketing strategies to meet the specific needs and preferences of different age groups. It's about diving deep into the mindset of each generation and crafting messages that resonate with their unique experiences, values, and expectations. This approach goes beyond the surface level of demographic segmentation and delves into the psychographics of your target market, understanding their attitudes, interests, and opinions. Brands that excel in generational marketing don't just tweak the phrasing of their existing collateral. They design very calculated, generation-driven campaigns. Failing to do so might risk losing valuable market share to savvier competitors. So why is generational marketing so important? Well, it's simple. Understanding the unique characteristics and preferences of each generation enables you to create more effective and personalized marketing strategies. It allows you to build stronger relationships with your customers, improve customer loyalty, and ultimately drive more sales. From the loyal baby boomers and balanced Generation X to the connected millennials and realistic Generation Z, each generation brings its own set of unique characteristics and preferences to the table. So let's delve into the specifics of each generation and how they interact with marketing strategies. First up, we have the baby boomers born between 1946 and 1964. This generation is often characterized as one of the most influential consumer groups of all time. Why, you ask? Well, their sheer size, coupled with their financial stability and disposable income, makes them a force to be reckoned with in the consumer market. Now let's dive a little deeper. One of the most distinctive characteristics of baby boomers is their loyalty to brands. Once they find a product or service that meets their needs and expectations, they tend to stick with it. This loyalty stems from a deep-seated belief in the value of long-term relationships, whether it's with people, institutions, or brands. This loyalty isn't blind, though. Baby boomers appreciate quality and reliability. They're not as likely to be swayed by flashy ads or gimmicks. Instead, they respond to marketing strategies that emphasize the proven track record of a product or service. Think of it this way they're more likely to trust a brand that has stood the test of time rather than the latest fad on the market. Another key attribute of baby boomers is their positivity. Generally, they have an optimistic outlook on life. They value youthfulness, not just in terms of age, but as a state of mind. This positivity reflects in their consumer behaviors. They're more likely to be attracted to brands that promote a positive, youthful, and vibrant image. Therefore, Marketing campaigns that tap into this sense of optimism and vitality can be highly effective. However, there's a catch. Baby boomers are not just looking for products that make them feel good, they're also seeking personal connections. They appreciate brands that take the time to understand their needs, values and aspirations. They respond well to personalized marketing strategies that make them feel valued and understood. So it's not just about selling a product, it's about building a relationship. Furthermore, baby boomers are not technophobes. Don't be fooled by the stereotype. Many are quite comfortable using the internet and social media. In fact, a significant number of them are active on platforms like Facebook and LinkedIn. This opens up a whole new avenue for marketers to connect and engage with them. Now let's talk about the role of influencers. While it's true that younger generations are more likely to follow influencers on social media, Baby boomers are not completely immune to their charm. They may not be scrolling through Instagram or TikTok as frequently as their younger counterparts, but they do pay attention to trusted voices in their community. Therefore, 
Influencer marketing, when done right, can be an effective strategy to reach this demographic. In conclusion, when marketing to baby boomers, it's essential to remember their unique characteristics and preferences, their loyalty to brands, preference for personal relationships and overall positivity should be at the heart of any marketing strategy. Brands that can tap into these traits while also acknowledging their comfort with technology stand a good chance of winning their hearts, minds, and wallets. Clearly, baby boomers value personal connections and loyal relationships with brands, but how does this compare to the next generation? Now, let's talk about Generation X, born between 1965 and 1980. This generation often gets overlooked in marketing discussions, sandwiched as they are between the influential baby boomers and the digital native millennials. But they represent a powerful consumer group with their own unique characteristics and preferences. Generation X, or Gen Xers as they're often called, are the balanced buyers. They straddle the divide between traditional and digital media. They're as comfortable reading a newspaper or watching cable TV as they are browsing the internet or checking social media. They're not as tech-obsessed as millennials and Gen Z, but they're certainly not technophobes either. They appreciate convenience, but they also value a personal touch. They're the generation that will shop online but call customer service if there's an issue. They want the best of both worlds, and why shouldn't they? Gen Xers are also fiercely brand loyal. They grew up in an era when brands were seen as a mark of quality and trust. If a brand has won their loyalty, they'll stick with it. They're not easily swayed by flashy marketing gimmicks. Instead, they respond to honest, straightforward messaging that speaks to their needs and values. They appreciate brands that respect their intelligence and treat them as valued customers, not just another sales target. What's more, Gen Xers are practical buyers. They're at a stage in life where they're juggling multiple responsibilities from raising families, to caring for aging parents, to building their careers. They don't have time for frivolous purchases. They're interested in products and services that solve problems, save time, or add value to their lives. They're not necessarily looking for the cheapest option, but they want to know they're getting good value for their money. This practical approach extends to their attitudes towards advertising. Gen Xers are savvy consumers. They're not easily fooled by unrealistic promises or over-the-top advertising. They want the facts. They appreciate ads that give them useful information and help them make informed decisions. They respond well to marketing that respects their time and intelligence. So how can marketers effectively reach this balanced, brand loyal and practical generation? First, it's essential to have a strong, trustworthy brand. Gen Xers need to know they can rely on your products or services, consistent quality, excellent customer service, and a commitment to ethical business practices will go a long way in winning their loyalty. Second, use a mix of traditional and digital marketing channels. Remember, Gen Xers are comfortable in both worlds. A well-placed print ad or TV commercial can be just as effective as a targeted email campaign or social media post. Finally, keep your marketing messages straightforward and informative. Don't try to dazzle Gen Xers with hype. Instead, show them how your product or service can make their lives easier or better. Provide them with the information they need to make an informed decision. Respect their intelligence and they'll respect your brand in return. Generation X offers a unique blend of traditional and digital preferences. But what about the first generation to grow up with the internet? Next up, we have the Millennials, born between 1981 and 1996. This generation is often characterized as the connected consumers, and there's a good reason for that. Millennials came of age during the rise of the internet and the dawn of the digital age. They've grown up with technology at their fingertips and are often seen as digital natives. This digital savviness shapes the way millennials interact with brands and influences their buying decisions. They're more likely to research products online, read reviews, and engage with brands on social media. They're also more likely to shop online. In fact, according to a study by Big Commerce, over three quarters of millennials prefer shopping online because it saves time. But it's not just about convenience. Millennials are also looking for experiences. They value authenticity and want to feel a connection with the brands they support. They're more likely to buy from a brand that shares their values and contributes positively to society. They're not just buying a product, they're buying into a lifestyle and a community. 
This focus on values and experiences extends to the influencers they follow. Millennials are more open to influencer marketing than older generations, but they're also more discerning. They're not just looking for a celebrity endorsement. They want influencers who are authentic and relatable, who share their values and passions. They're more likely to trust an influencer's recommendation if they feel it's genuine and not just a paid promotion. So how can marketers appeal to this connected, value-driven generation? Here are a few strategies. First, leverage digital channels. Millennials are active on social media and often use these platforms to discover new brands and products. Use these channels to engage with your audience, share your brand story and showcase your values. Don't just sell a product, create an experience. Use immersive technologies like AR and VR to create interactive shopping experiences. Second, be authentic. Millennials can smell a fake from a mile away. Be transparent about your business practices, share behind the scenes content and engage with your audience in a genuine way. Show them that you're not just a faceless corporation, but a brand that shares their values and cares about the same issues they do. Third, collaborate with influencers. But remember, it's not just about getting a big name to promote your product. Find influencers who align with your brand values, who have a genuine connection with their audience, and who can tell your brand story in a compelling and authentic way. And finally, offer value beyond the product. Whether it's a loyalty program, exclusive content, or a community of like-minded individuals, find ways to add value and create a deeper connection with your millennial customers. To sum it up, millennials are a unique generation with distinct preferences and behaviors. They're digital natives who value authenticity, experiences, and social connection. They're open to influencer marketing, but they demand authenticity and alignment with their values. To effectively market to millennials, brands need to understand these unique characteristics and adapt their strategies accordingly. Millennials are clearly digitally oriented and value-driven, but what about the youngest generation? Finally, let's discuss Generation Z, born after 1996. This generation, also known as the I generation, is a unique blend of realism, digital first approach, and the deep-rooted focus on authenticity and social causes. It's this combination that makes them a fascinating group for marketers to understand and engage with. Generation Z is the first generation to grow up with the internet and technology at their fingertips. For them, the digital world isn't an added layer to reality. It's an integral part of their lives. This digital first approach means they're not only comfortable navigating the online landscape, but they also expect brands to meet them there. They're savvy, scrolling through social media, researching products, comparing prices and reading reviews before making a purchase. They're not passive consumers. They're actively engaged in the buying process. And when it comes to authenticity, Generation Z doesn't just value it, they demand it. They're equipped with a finely tuned radar capable of detecting when brands are not being genuine. They're not interested in polished marketing campaigns that feel distant or disconnected. They crave real connections, raw stories, and behind the scenes looks into the businesses they support. They want to feel like they're a part of something bigger, not just a target audience. But it's not just about being digital natives or desiring authenticity. Generation Z also carries a powerful social conscience. They're acutely aware of the challenges the world faces, from climate change and social inequality to political instability. They're not afraid to tackle these issues head on and they expect the same from the brands they support. For them, it's not enough for a business to be profitable. It also needs to be purposeful. How does this translate to marketing strategies? Well, it means that marketers need to rethink their approach. Traditional marketing techniques might not cut it with this generation. They're more likely to be swayed by a brand that showcases its values and commitment to social causes rather than one that merely focuses on product features. They're attracted to brands that prioritize transparency and authenticity rather than those that rely on glossy advertising. For instance, consider a brand that sells eco-friendly backpacks. A Generation Z consumer might be more interested in knowing how the brand sources its materials, its commitment to reducing carbon emissions, and how it gives back to the community. They'd likely prefer an Instagram story showing the behind-the-scenes process of creating the backpack, rather than a polished ad showcasing the product's features. Marketers targeting Generation Z also need to harness the power of social media influencers who reflect the brand's values. 
These influencers offer a human connection that can bridge the gap between the brand and its audience. They can bring the brand's story to life in a way that resonates with Generation Z's desire for authenticity. Moreover, marketers must remember that Generation Z is not a monolith. They're a diverse group with varying interests, identities, and experiences. Marketing efforts should reflect this diversity, offering personalized and inclusive campaigns that resonate with different segments of this generation. In conclusion, Generation Z challenges marketers to step up their game. They demand authenticity, social responsibility, and a digital-first approach. They're discerning, socially conscious and connected, and they're reshaping the marketing landscape with their unique set of preferences. Generation Z, as the youngest consumers, have a unique set of preferences that marketers need to understand. As the generation of tomorrow, their influence on the market will only continue to grow. Understanding them today will ensure that marketers are well prepared for the future. So we've taken a journey through the generations, but what does this mean for marketers? Well, it means that designing marketing strategies without considering the generational divide is like shooting arrows in the dark. Each generation, baby boomers, Generation X, millennials, Generation Z, has its unique set of values, preferences, and consumer behaviors. Baby boomers, for instance, tend to prioritize personal relationships and youthfulness. They possess a generally positive worldview. Marketing to this group might involve showcasing products that speak to these values. On the other side of the coin, Generation Z members are often more straightforward, even cynical. They appreciate brands that are transparent, sustainable, and responsive to the world's pressing issues. Marketing assets are becoming more values-driven as marketers strive to appeal to each generation's unique ethos, and this extends to the channels used to reach these consumers. The younger cohorts thrive in digital spaces, while baby boomers and Generation X are more balanced, appreciating both online and offline channels. This has led to an increase in omnichannel marketing strategies, which aim to meet consumers where they feel most comfortable. Influencer marketing is no longer just for the young and hip. Brands are discovering the power of influencers across all generations. Even baby boomers and Generation X are open to learning about brands through social media influencers. And while it might be more challenging to find influencers who resonate with older generations, the payoff can be substantial. The way brands portray their consumers in advertising is also evolving. Older consumers are no longer depicted as frail or dependent. Instead, they are shown as independent, active and thriving, reflecting a broader societal shift in attitudes towards aging. Finally, let's not forget about Generation X. This group is often overlooked, but they are a force to be reckoned with. They have significant buying power and are notably brand loyal. Ignoring them could be a costly mistake. Remember, understanding your audience is key. So, next time you're developing a marketing strategy, consider the generational divide.